Amanda Brent, the governor's office said this morning there were still about 10,000 state employees that would be mandated to either receive the vaccine or opt for testing that have not yet made their intentions known. 32,000 state employees are required under an executive order issued by Governor Lamont to show proof of vaccination or agree to weekly testing. About 19,000 employees in the executive branch have already reported being fully vaccinated. It's about 60% uh, roughly of, uh, of the population. Approximately 3,000 state employees have opted instead for weekly testing. Look, there will be some people who say, hell no, and um, I'm sorry, but um, that means you're not safe. The governor's office says the numbers are changing by the hour, so they've pushed back the compliance deadline, which was originally set for two days ago. Because we're still working through the paperwork and it's taking a little longer than expected, we're giving people until the end of the day on Monday, October 4th, that is the final deadline for compliance. If you won't get uh, vaccinated, if you won't get tested, you know, then there'll be uh, an unpaid leave. That could happen as soon as Tuesday. As for potential termination? That's a discussion for another day. The state's three largest hospital systems are also struggling a bit with their respective vaccination mandates, with over 1,600 employees combined still not in compliance. And Yale New Haven Health anticipates having to terminate over 100 employees on Friday. And the governor applauds hospitals' efforts to keep patients and employees safe. Nobody wants us to get back to total freedom faster than I do. We're going to be cautious a little bit longer, and it's worked so far. At, at part of the press conference this morning, uh, Dr. Manisha Jutani, who is the new public health commissioner for the state, she noted that the school, uh, the uh, pool for those eligible to receive COVID vaccines is about to expand in about a month by some 400,000 folks. She said that's when the go-ahead should be given for kids ages 5 through 11 to receive the jab. Live here in Hartford, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.